Hi everyone and welcome back. How are you guys today? You guys, I am officially back with our third and final part to the Lucifer album listen and honestly this album has taken me on a lot of different emotional rides. Um, some very, very, very emotional songs, some fun and dancey songs, and then some questionable songs for me at least. But all in all, it has been a really, really good album. Now, if you are just joining me in for the third and final part, hi, how are you? I love you. Welcome. Um, if you would like to watch the first and second part, I will link one above and then at the end, the other one will be in a little box thingy, like right here or maybe right here. I don't really know how it goes. Um, if you would like to watch those, that would be really great. Um, I still want to know your guys' opinion on this album. What is your favorite song off of the album? If there are live stages for certain songs, which are your favorite live stages? I would love to know because I love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions on these songs because for me, it's basically like sharing them with a friend and it may seem really weird because I don't really know any of you, but I feel like I'm sharing this experience with all of you at the same time. So it's like we're connected, but we're not connected. Get what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop being weird. Um, you guys, we have four songs left to listen to. I am just telling you now by the title of these last four songs, they feel emotional. I may be wrong. I don't know. But we're going to do them anyway. You guys, the last four songs that we have to listen to are Life, Ready or Not, Love Pain, and then Love Still Goes On. Question, Love Still Goes On, is it tied to Love Will Go On? I think that was the title of the other song. I asked this when I listened to that song before. I can't remember if anybody replied. So I'm asking now. <laughs> But you guys, we are just going to go ahead and jump right into the first song. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh, where are these photos from now? Each time I watch a new lyric video, because these are older songs, I swear to you, the photos are always different. And I don't know where these photos have come from. These may be the same photos that were associated with the last time I asked, like in the same like photo shoot. But where are these from? They're, they're gorgeous. They're just, they're so pretty. And I, I, I would like to know. Yeah. Anyway, let me get drink water. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and start with life. What is life? I don't know. We gonna find out. Let's go. i 
beautiful. Damn it. It's, it's just, it's, it's beautiful and it's real and it just, <laughs> to know that in perspective of another person, to know that there is someone that is there for you, no matter what you were going through, that they just, they want to be there for you. They want to share that hardship that you were currently going through. That means more to someone than anything else. Just to know that you are not alone and that this person is willing to withstand whatever storm you are currently going through. That to me is a beautiful thing that should never be taken for granted because not everyone gets that. And they sounded so good in this song and it was beautiful and it it was really really good really good jesus <laughs> i love this song i really really like this song it it was perfect i i have to see a live stage of this please let there be a live stage of this i know that you guys will let me know but i'm gonna go look for an <laughs> words I'm going to go look for a live stage as soon as we're done with this video because I need to just know that there's one out there that I can watch at a later date in time because I, I need it in my life. I need it. <sighs> okay, you guys, we are going to go ahead and move to the second song called Ready or Not. What is Damon doing with <laughs> what, is, what is happening? What is... First of all, I know it looks like he just woke up. Jungkook looks like he did something and he's just kind of off put about it. Jinky is just he's drinking his drink and he's being a good boy. And I just there's just, and I don't even I don't I don't know. I don't know. We're just We're going to go ahead and just start with this song. Let's do it. Look, there's a bug on his shirt. That's weird. Wait, what is happening? I like the ding 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 ding
I love his voice so much. Oh. Okay, that song was actually really cute. There was just there was a child like innocence that was in that song and it was really sweet. It was really sweet. It was really sweet and almost wholesome and it just I liked it. It had this weird just like fuse it had this weird almost futuristic vibe to it which kind of pulled it in with the beginning of the album but it, I don't know I don't know how to properly describe it. It was odd but I liked it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know if that actually makes any sense or not. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I went to say something and I started dying. Um, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are probably hating me right now for how much I'm yawning. But we're gonna move on to the next song. It is called Love Pain. Love is pain, but look how sweet they look in this photo. I recognize his harem jinky. I recognize this photo. I just can't depict which MV I've seen this hair on him from. And that hair. I've seen this photo somewhere. Someone help me. Where is this from? Which which MV was these hairs from? It was I've watched it was a while ago that I watched it. When did I see it? Dang it. Dang it, it's gonna bother me now. You know, we're just gonna start, we're just gonna start. Let's go, let's go, let's go. that there it's it's that you want to let this person go but erasing them would be like swallowing poisonous medicine it's like holding on to that person that you lost is breaking you but knowing that if you just up and just completely let them go and just erase 
each memory that you made with them that would hurt so much more and it's like it's like you have no other option you're stuck between a rock and a hard place there's just it's just it's it hurts because you know no matter which option you pick you, there's no bright side and that's what sucks oh no my camera's about to die i'd be right back hi guys sorry about that my camera died i have absolutely no idea if the camera is in the same place that it was prior to this i don't know <laughs> Either way, um, we're gonna go ahead and pick right up where we left off with Love Pain. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. God, this saddest song. The saddest song. The song is sad. <laughs> I don't know words sometimes. I'm sorry. Anyway. I need you to listen to the background vocals. I need you to I need you to listen to them. You guys, it's just, it's heartbreaking. There's a lyric within the song that says, my heart becomes weaker. As you continue to hold this person in your heart that you can't have anymore, it changes you. It changes the way your heart feels. Your heart becomes more heavy and it just, it just, it feels like every fiber within your being is being torn apart but you know that if you let this person go completely if you completely just up and move on it would change everything and sometimes that changes for the worst and it just it it's heartbreaking because you know no matter what you do you're stuck that you won't be able to let this person go because you can't and that is probably the hardest thing some people will ever go through in their lives and again songs like this people can relate to because they can say that this is what they're going through and by hearing the song they know that they are not alone in their situation and to me that is perfect and it's beautiful and I am thankful for songs like these because it could really help someone who just needs that one person and it's a beautiful beautiful thing they were just they sounded sorry they sounded amazing within the song of course they did when do they not and it just the song meant a lot and I loved it I loved it so much but yeah anyway you guys we are gonna go ahead and move on to our last song of this album which is called love still go on still still goes on love still goes on um and yeah I got the photos <laughs> oh god keys hair oh no okay okay all right 
It's our last song. Let's just, you know, go ahead and do it. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's go. when they just change the entire flow of the song when Ki or Minho comes in and it just, it gives it a little something different and I like it, I like it a lot, I like it a lot. I, just, uh, I like his voice, bless you, I like his voice. I love him, but I love his voice. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, it happened. Okay, 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 I see you. Although I try to forget you, life without you. Oh. Life. Oh, what did I do? Beethoven without music a completely jam expressed way. Life without you isn't complete. It just, it doesn't make sense. And I actually, I like that they compared Beethoven without music and an express way just being jam packed. And it just, it doesn't flow the same way without you in it. And I, I like that. I like the comparisons that they decided to make. And although I try to erase you, a life without you is Picasso that quits painting a magic with the trick figured out. It, it's just, it doesn't make sense. And that's why they need you. Because without you, it just, it, n nothing adds up completely. Nothing makes sense no matter what they do. I like that. I still left my shoulder open for you in case you need a place to cry.
background vocals. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. But no, 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 no. This this song, it's like, it's like I'm taking two steps forward, but I'm getting pushed three steps back because no matter how hard I try to get to you, you just, you seem to be pulling further and further away. But life without you just, it doesn't make sense. So it's like I'm in a game of tug of war. No matter how hard I'm trying to get to you, it just feels like it's a never-ending losing battle and that's why it hurts i i like the message behind this song and it sucks but it it, it happens in, to people and it, it's heartbreaking but again it's something that so many people can connect to and understand they're not alone in the situation and I like it. It's 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 good. It's sad, but it's good. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, that is all I have to say. This album was just a roller coaster ride. Honestly, there were so many just kind of hype songs, but then there were sad songs, and then I I have so many mixed emotions about everything right now. It's kind of crazy. But all in all, it was not a bad album at all it was actually pretty good and i'm happy i listened to this i hope you guys enjoyed listening to this with me um hopefully everything i said made sense to you guys if not i don't know what to tell you um again just to reiterate something i said prior to this i would love to hear what you guys thought about this album what are your guys' favorite songs? If there are live stages for certain songs, what are your favorite live stages? Again, because I love hearing from you guys. I love these videos because it gives me a way to not only connect to them, but to connect to all of you as well. And to me, that, that means honestly almost everything. And I appreciate all of you so much, but yeah. Um, again, just to touch on something else I said earlier, next week I think I will not be doing an album listen. However, I will be doing a fun video along with a live stage. Um, I haven't quite picked which ones of which I want to watch yet. Um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day or night depending on where you are in the world. And of course, when you watch this video, please know that I love you and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Remember, shiny. <laughs> Bye!